to Money Trees Gaming. Today we've got a little open world Lost Lands gameplay for you. Uh, more of an update, see where we're at with our city. Please do help a toad out and hop down there on that subscribe button. It does help out the channel. I do appreciate it uh, to all the people who have followed. Uh, leave me a like and comment down below. I do like to interact with all 52 of my fans out there. Uh, today we've got some open world Lost Lands, like I said. Uh, we're going to check it out. The game is petering out, I feel like, if I'm just being honest. Um, it's still in beta. Uh, the Discord is, like, dead. Uh, people are getting on there, and they haven't been able to log in in a while, and uh, no one's really answering them. Um, I got a hold of, of Lily in Discord at the perfect time, I guess, because she... It took a couple days, but she ended up sending me the test land because I have the main net land, you know, and that's what I've been using to get this. So I can even tell you right now where to go to get a test net land to, to join the beta. I don't even know if you can, if I'm being honest, but... Uh, so I was lucky, and we're gonna we're gonna go with that. We're gonna keep building until it's done, done. Because I do enjoy these types of strategy games. Uh, a couple little updates: we have got some walls here. Uh, we've started in in the middle here, up to level six now. These other ones out here are level five, so they're they're rocking the wood uh, upgrades well beyond what Clash of Clans did. I think Clash of Clans stone walls were like level three or four. Uh, the start of those so tons of upgrades in this game again i love what they've done with the building and everything the attacking and stuff so it doesn't work uh, there's really been no updates so we're just going to kind of go over the uh, level six castle here that we did just upgrade to uh, we're going to do a quick little little build out talk about what we're doing strategy wise as you can see we're level six here uh, we're basically going for stone and gold so that we can upgrade the walls and upgrade all the buildings and mines and stuff We've really been hitting the stone quarries hard. They're pretty much all almost level 10 now. Uh, they take two days to get to level 10. And then we're going to start working uh, pretty hard on these gold mines next. Uh, you can see right now we don't have a builder available for another good ooh, couple hours, three hours. We'll have a couple pop open here. And then we'll be able to go ahead and do some more of these walls on the indoors here. I haven't collected in a while, so if we collect... Get up to a good 347,000 um, ore or iron, whatever it is, stone. I don't know. And then we collect our gold. We don't even really care about the uh, the food. Don't really do much with it. You can upgrade troops and, and train troops, but once you've trained them, they don't die, so you can't. You don't need to train anymore. If we take a look at what we can build here, we've got another gold mine that we'll get going. The food mill will. We'll get the food mill or probably won't even build. And we can get another 25 walls here. We can also get one more catapult. We'll probably go ahead and get that catapult. Uh, we're not going to really mess with the rocket and the flame candy holder. I feel like that's meant to be candle holder, but they put candy holder. Again, it is a beta game. Uh, take a look at our, our ranking real quick. Uh, if we go over here to the prosperity, and again, you get the prosperity in the game from completing buildings uh, I don't know if the walls count I, I feel like they do because I've moved up a little bit look we're number 122 now we have 3,370 prosperity so we haven't even cracked into the top 100 and I've been building guys but we have moved up from I think what would we start around 140 or something when we when we discovered the the ranking so again we're hoping that the game comes around uh, the play to earn on this game is supposed to be awesome. Well, at least I think it would be awesome because what you would essentially be able to do is take your level 10 uh, mine, your stone mine, and recycle it. <clears throat> which would then put it in your backpack and then you can take this stuff in your backpack and go sell it on... A, it wasn't going to be Game Boy, but Game Boy Marketplace seems to be... I don't know, maybe dead too. They tried to do a, a, a land sale thing on there and you... It was in my last video, and you could not get it. I don't think they sold a single one because you couldn't get it. And they tried to move it to something else, and I, I just don't think it worked. And then dead, uh, Discord has been quiet, so who knows. But again, if they could do that to where you could sell your stuff on a on an open market, it would be an amazing play to earn game. Uh, you'd be able to sell your resources, that kind of stuff, too. Flip that into whatever currency, if it's on the XRP ledger or whatever. Um, whatever the network token is, you could, you know, flip your 
your resources into that currency or buy, use them to buy other buildings. You know, maybe you don't want to wait around for a level 15 uh, stone mill and you want to get cranking on some walls. Just go buy yourself a level 15 stone mill to start as long as your castle is a high enough level. And I don't, you won't be able to purchase castles, I don't think. That, that would be terrible if you could just purchase like a level 8 castle and it defeats the whole purpose of the game. But, you know, it's a great concept. I hope it comes around in the end. But for today, that's going to do it. We will do another update next week. We're going to check out the walls. Hopefully, we'll have them all done uh, by, by the update next week. But we will bring that back to you. Do appreciate you all. Again, all the followers out there, really do appreciate it. Toads, take them to the outro.